we'd booked a fly to Paris on a private plane from Rus. We noticed over Santuit that the engine bolts were loose. But then we landed safely and the boys are all so glad we had a whip round for the driver. <laughs> First one he'd ever had. <laughs> took us to this cafe, they call it Montmorens. I said, could I see the menu, please? I'll order for my friend. I ordered escargot and chips. from a waiter dressed in tails. But Will complained and sent his back and said they taste like snakes. <laughs> Drove to Park the Princess, where Wales defeated France. I read it in the papers that we didn't have a chance. So when the game was over, all the boys are keen to see the follies Moulin Rouge began and the lights of gay Paris. <laughs> went down this nightclub it wasn't very far in a sleazy street called Rue de Moor, a place called Shangri-La <laughs> now I didn't want to go I'd been before. <laughs> I'll never forget there was a red light outside and I said <laughs> and I said, oh look, there's a fair. <laughs> Remember it well. <laughs> this woman in the doorway, her dress slit to the knee. She said to me, Hello, big boy. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. She'd seen me in the sea. <laughs> she led me by the hand and told me, don't be shy. <laughs> she said, come upstairs and see my Ray Williams coating leaflets. <laughs> I, thought, 
I thought myself lucky mom put in a clean pants and vest. <laughs> She put some records on and music fill the air. Remember it well. <laughs> and then she put some records on and music filled the air. She kissed me on the forehead, I ran her fingers through my hair. Her voice was low and husky. She said, What would you like, my brave? I said, have you got Chiaki male voice singing Diadem of it? <laughs> and then the door had opened, a girl came in with Ben. I could see the way he looked at me. He'd never go again. <laughs> he was standing in this little room, lit by one 60 watt tungsten bulb, hanging from a piece of purple flex, and there's all wallpaper peeling off the walls. And, and Ben said, It would try for a grant, he said. <laughs> Now, Ben, I've been on holidays this year. <laughs> and his little legs are all pale and spindly and sticking out of his underpants like two sticks of celery sticking out of a carrier bag. <laughs> ah, remember it well. <laughs> and I didn't want to go. Then she turned to Ben all slowly and said, come sit by me and move the velvet cushion from a leopard skin settee. <laughs> and called the girl with me across, the one that owned the flat, and said, pointing at Ben, if you don't eat your cabbage, you look like that. <laughs> And then I woke up next morning and we went back to all the airport to, to fly home there and, and shave and come run there was ringing the place and we had a great, we were all in all the airport and we were stuck on the air terminal roof and if you remember that year, it was when Bevan's fantastic cover and tackle that year and it was all these, all, all these, all these terrorists down on, on the tarmac firing, remember all, all bazookas and flamethrowers and machine guns. <laughs> 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 and I didn't care, Wales had won. And, uh, you know. I was lying, like, I, I was terrified, lying on my stomach on top of the air, turning the roof, all the airport. I never forget this chap from Abertillery. <laughs> Got up in a lull in the firing, he shouted down to the terrorists. <laughs> hey, he said, it's only a game, man, he said. 